Louisiana Beer Reviews, we are looking at a local beer or a semi-local to us. They're uh, out of Broussard. About two hours west of us. Yeah. This is Parrish's Grand Reserve, this year's edition, 2017. 11%. Um, 11%. I found this in Whole Foods, Uptown New Orleans, on uh, Arabella, the Arabella store. Langensteins. And, um, oh no, Whole Foods on Arabella. Whole Foods on Arabella. So used to be a, the bus barn for the oh, yeah, streetcars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I had this one a long time ago, and what I remember, it was very well made. Um, it's it's falling along the lines, my taste buds, is a barley. It doesn't say just by looking at it, it just says it's cellared annually. annually. Uh, it doesn't say when it was cellared. Or how long it was cellar. No, I was looking at the website just now. It doesn't it say much about it. Vintage 2017. So, and I did a uh, video search, and my video from five years ago apparently is the only one that's still existing on the internet. Yeah, it's got so this I, annoying wax on the top of it, like it's Maker's Mark or something. Yeah, and I'm sorry Which, for my refrigerator coming on. It does cycle off and on all during the day. So, and this microphone and this camera is very sensitive. If I swallow up here, you can hear it. Be going gulp. Mm -hmm. on the video. That's how sensitive that mic is. Yeah. Which is a big difference from that crappy Kodak camera I bought years ago when I first started uh -oh. yeah. <laughs> doing video reviews. I told you that was going to be a problem. That, that wax for some reason. We're going to have to probably stop in, stop in the video and, and chipping that off. Um, yeah, I don't know why that gets put on there. Aesthetics. It's for looks. Yeah. But we stopped the review and picked this off because we're going to okay. waste a lot of video time messing with this. Wait a minute. Oh, you got it. Jay's determined. Ta da! It's not even wax, it's plastic. Oh, it's plastic. That was a nice That was a nice pop. You heard that? Yeah, that is plastic. Okay. Not wax is right. No, they don't use wax anymore. They use plastic. Not plastique. <laughs> It'd be nice if the cap underneath said Grand Reserve rather than just your regular old parish cap. They had a every, nice one of their, every one of their bottled products comes with the same yeah. red cap. They had a nice little bit of smoke on it. Now, I don't know how much this cost you. We just went to Matherns and they had the parish Grand Reserve. What was the other parish in the big plastic cap bottle? I don't recall. You know the it's other one? Belt. It's like a Abbey. It's an Abbey. Oh, the Abbey. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. an Abbey yeah. belt. Yeah. Okay. So this one's... I believe it's 11% alcohol. Yeah, barley wine. Yeah. <clears throat> I got some barley wines I'm aging, by the way. And I'm about to pop them open in 2018. Oh, I forgot to take a photo of the last video of the last beer. Heck, that's right. I'll do a um, screen capture. But I wanted to do a bottle photo. I'll make sure I do that of this. You ever notice barley wines have that like, little sour note? What's that color? Pomegranate or prune? No. Plum. Plum juice. I do not know. Some kind of fruit juice. It's, yeah. It's orange. It's orange and then pink. Orangish pink. Depending on how the, how the light hits it and the depth it's of it. It's dark outside because it's cloud. Right. Cloud. Yeah, you ever notice I got that little sour thing going, those barley wines? Yeah, this is good. It's got something. To me, always like a marmalade. It's, it's like marmalade. It's a, it's a, it's a lot lighter and thinner looking than what I remember drinking in the past. It's been five years for me. Yeah. Let's go ahead and taste it. It's got okay. a. Hmm. It's got big flavor. It's definitely a barley wine. You can taste it. It's a candy note. It's sweet. It's burny. I'm not getting a whole lot of that. Kind of like that Burton Ale from Ballantyne. Yeah. Of course, that was 11 something, a six pack. This is a lot of money for a single. Uh, well, yeah, this is what? This is a 25 ounce bottle or a 22 ounce bottle. It's got the dent in the bottom it's of it, so you get less. It's probably 25.4 ounces. 
No, I think you get less with that because it's got that dent in the bottom. Oh, yeah, Actually, I, was that's right. I was right. I was right. I was right. One pint, 9.4 ounces, that's 25.4. That's exactly 700 milliliters. You say? I know. But now remember yes. what I just said. The Burton Ale, which so it's is 11. 20, it's 24.4 ounces. Right, 24. No, no 25.4 ounces. ounces. It's like two beers plus a little bit more. Yes. And But remember what I said. You can get the Burton Ale, a six-pack, for about the same price as maybe one of these. Or, I mean, yeah. come on now. Okay, but anyway, let's get to this. It's good. It's well constructed. It's it's one of the flagship beers that's an annual. Um, heavy body. It's got a heavy body. Not exactly crisp and clean in the finish. It's a little dirty finish. A little chewy finish. But that's yeah. that's barley wine. If you want crisp and clean, heck, go get Miller Lite. If you want intricate, complex flavors, and you don't mind spending money, get this. Right. It's just a tad on the sweet side for me. It's candy-like. Yeah, I kind of wish they wouldn't had gone this direction with it, or maybe aged it a little longer. And remember, we were talking about whiskey, how some of them are candy-like. Yeah, and that, I think that's could be. I don't know. There could be a rush in the process because the yeast hasn't consumed all the sugar. And all the sugar, and so we're, what we're left with is a sweeter product. Maybe that was the plan. I don't know. Uh, now, wait a minute. But it, it should be a little bit more robust. They are telling you very clearly it should be saved and shared. Strong and robust, it will age gracefully when cellared. So they're telling you basically buy it and keep it in the fridge for five years, then drink it, not pop it right open. So we got to take that into account now. Okay. We kind of violating right. the protocol. So this is, this is designed to age. Uh, um, judged by what I'm tasting, uh, I would think that it's going to be mellow and it's not going to be as sweet. So this one you can probably sit on for like two years. I know I saw out there in some of the, the beer chat groups that some people had, were finding the 2015 edition still on the shelf in some stores. The Canadas, they were throwing that name out there in the whole Thibodeau area. Oh, they, yeah? seem, they seem to get a big push out there of this from this brewery. I want to go check out um, Calan, not Calandras, what's the one on Elysian Fields and they just opened one in Araby? Um, Curious about their selection over there. I haven't been there in years. Um, Robert's. No, it's like an independent company, and they uh, they started on Legion Fields, and then they went to Araby. Got they, They're big into wine. Uh, it starts with a C. It's not Calandros. It's uh, I don't know. Some of the viewers are going to say, "Are you stupid?" You know, it's blank blank. All right. They, but they literally just opened a store in Araby like a week ago. Is it the place that's on Metairie Road? Canseco's. Canseco's, they're on Metairie Road. And they want on Metairie Road. Yeah, and they're a little... Um, they're kind of like a cross between a, a specialty like a Dornax and a Rouse's. So you can get the average stuff and you can get the specialty stuff. Yeah, and it, the quality's high. So with that said, you're going to pay a little bit more. I'm going to go check out their... Oh, okay. But, you know, it's like anything. You get what you pay for. Yeah. So. i got to go finish off my... Uh, this is really good. The alcohol is a little much for me, so I'm going to stop at this one. Just that serving? Yeah. I'll this is, I'll this is This is almost like sipping. Almost like, like, a, like a port of sorts or something like that. Oh, I have a port wine in the cabinet. Well, um, I drank that port at your house, which you said you were going to cook with, and I drank too much of it. Remember the last time but during the summer, and it made me sick to my stomach. Mm -hmm. Those can be a little... <sighs> so, uh, this one, a little serving is nice, kind of like a dessert product, but if you drank the whole bottle and you got sick off, it, off of it, you'd be really sick, right? Well... Yeah, this is it's 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 it's, it's a, a lot. It's like a it's like a concentrate. It's not a 
it's not a watered down version of anything. So it's a good sharing product. It's a it's a well put together product. How would you I, rate I got, it? I got nothing, nothing negative to say about this parish beer at all. Um, I would give it a solid A. Um, yeah. I want to taste. I'm probably gonna go snag another one. Uh, keep it keep it a year or so, maybe this time next year. See how it goes with aging. If we're still both kicking around and our tickers are still pumping. God willing. Right. Maybe we'll do this review again at that time. So uh, anyway, so we're saying a, a most excellent beer, but you got to take into account it's going to be a little gamey in, the, in that sense. If it's fresh, uh, you might want to let it age to um, take off, That's take a little of the edge off of was, it. I was going to say it's, 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 it's almost a little virgin. Yeah. Uh, so it anyway, needs to be seasoned. Anyway, uh, it might do well with marinade, though. <laughs> you wouldn't well, pay that much for marinade, though. I'm not going to take a $16 bottle and marinade. But, you know, this is cheaper than some of this 25.5s that we usually get. 25.4s, yeah. One of the biggest disappointments I got, which I paid $22 for, was that Lizard of Cods. Everybody talked about that. They hated that. I never tried it. They were like rant, rant and raving about this. It's sweet. It's like sugar. I'm huh? aging that one right now to see what happens. I've been sitting on it for close to a year. I want to give it a couple of years. It's a high alcohol. Yeah, I heard some other people like cr really criticizing that one. Yeah, well, it's a stout, and they put blueberries in it. Some things just don't go with stout. Yeah, I think and you so. got the chocolate, the coffee note, and all that, and then you get a dump blueberry in it. I don't know what they were thinking there. That doesn't sound too good to me, but uh, I'm pretty open minded yeah. about beer, as per people probably know. All right, well, thank you for watching this video production. Lazy Lay Wont on the Way. Thank you for this gift. It's an awesome product. Y'all come on down to Southeastern Louisiana.